Good morning everyone, Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another Bitcoin price analysis. We have seen a nice pump up to $58,000. We have even overshooted my bullish price target of around 56 to 57 k guys. This is an early video because today I am traveling or me and my girlfriend, we are traveling to Germany. So stay tuned, be subscribed here because I'm going to do the next videos in Germany of course. And uh, right now I'm a bit stressed with the packing and stuff like that. Actually, my girlfriend is packing and I'm uh, doing this update video for you guys. So we're going to enjoy this video and um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do next because right now we are hitting, of course, um, a big resistance here at 58K and at the moment the indicators are looking like that the potential local top is in. So what we have here is this nice uh, pump of Bitcoin that we have expected since we bottomed out here, this local bottom here at around $52,000. We got that bounce and breather that uh, I was telling you most likely we're gonna get. And right now I am currently switching over into a short position. I have just opened it up. I'm currently a little bit on the water, but uh, this is a scalp trade position. And um, yeah, basically to take those uh, swings whenever we are going down or up. And the main reason why I believed that um, a little um, pullback or maybe even the local top is in here and that we are coming back down to retest maybe here the 55 to 54 thousand dollars at least maybe even go lower than that is first of all as I also told you in the last videos currently the Bitcoin price is just going sideways and we have currently a big concentrations of liquidations down here at around 45k. So yes, I still believe that around $45,000 during the month of September could be tested. If not in September, then most likely we will not come down because if it's going to happen that we're gonna dump down towards 45k, time-wise I would say September would be the month that we will retest uh, or come back down towards the uh, low 40s again. But not necessarily, of course. It is very, very likely since there we have a lot of liquidations if the price would go down there. And that's why I believe that this could be the case. And also remember that in the monthly time frame and also in the weekly, we are still looking bearish. So even if we short term in the four hour or daily time frame are getting some bounces, remember that we could eventually fall down since the bigger time frames are looking still bearish. And as long as there we don't have bullish price action, the downtrend will continue. And even with this pump that we have seen in the last few hours, you can see that we didn't even come up to test the 200 moving average in the four hour at 59K. So we didn't even come up there. It is still possible that we're gonna reach it, but I'm not very confident. And also I'm trading the three hour time frame. And you can see that here we have a confirmed sell signal, still negative money flow, even though we had here a nice curvature in money flow. This is of course bullish, but we have to see then of course an increase in money flow, otherwise we can stay down here for a very long time until uh, things are reversing again. So here on the three hour we have all, uh, or basically on all indicators, sell signals appearing. Also here we're gonna cross a bearish here with the next um, uh, three hour close that will trigger then of course uh, a downwards move at least towards 55 to 54K. And also there we're gonna have this CME gap that we created over the weekend. You can see that here, let me quickly put that like that. So you see that we have here a new CME gap down to 54K. This one most likely will get tested, uh, closed sooner than later. This one over here got filled already with this wick that you can see here, perfectly touching this, um, this gap here. And then we came down. So this one most likely will get filled in my opinion. You can think whatever you want. Some people think that those gaps are um, uh, just randomly getting filled, but so far all, always they got filled. There is only one big gap at 20K guys that is still open and that is still making me a headache since we created it like a year ago or even more than that. Um, but for now, of course, we didn't fill it and it is also possible that we're never gonna fill it, but it is there and um, of course, not necessarily everyone have to be filled, but at least uh, most of them or like 99% of the gaps are getting filled. So in the four hour time frame, I think after this move, we most likely gonna see a little pullback, but here comes the big but, and this is here in the daily time frame. So in the daily time frame, if we go here over in the lines chart, you can see that Bitcoin is still trading in this range here with the resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance, support. Support would be down here at our bearish target at 48 to $45,000 um, and the resistance up here at $69,000. 
The good thing is here that in the daily time frame we're currently getting everywhere buy signals confirmed, and every time we had that, even during this uh, the, uh, like during this downtrend or during this pattern, you can see that every time when we came down we had at least a bounce uh, or a push towards a 20 daily moving average currently at fifty eight thousand nine hundred dollars and um, basically when the move ended we got um, rejected somewhere at the top side of the calton channels or at the 20 daily moving average and then we came back down but the strong move to the upside should be expected here based on the daily time frame but before of that most likely we're gonna come back down to close the cme gap at 54 thousand dollars because the lower time frames the three and four hour are currently looking like that uh, a little um, dump will be incoming before we had higher because the daily time frame is looking good this is currently the only time frame because the weekly is bearish here everything is still shifted to the downside the good thing is here actually that we are bouncing at the 50 weekly moving average as you can see here this green moving average in the past or during this whole bull run you can see that we never came below the 50 weekly moving average once we broke above here we started here this big um, run up basically and we never came below the 50 weekly moving average so let's see what happens i think this would be very bearish if we would see a weekly close below the 50 weekly moving average because based on the weekly time frame the next major support would come down here at 39k that the, at the 200 weekly moving average not looking good guys but this is this is of course a potential strong bounce area here the 50 weekly moving average so this is what i like on the charts and that's why currently i am sitting in this little uh, short position but uh, once of course um, things are going to reverse again i'm gonna change again into a long but for now i'm trading here the three and four hour time frame and this looks like that uh, a pullback will be incoming probably today or at least one or two days um, for this uh, move to play out if you also want to trade this move, you can do that, for example, on Maxi Global or any exchange that you find here in the video description. I put here the 15 top exchanges, guys. I have a bit sorted out some exchanges. And you see, we have Bybit, Maxi Global, 2 bit exchange, um, Femax, and so on. I'm using all of them. Always uh, use different exchanges for more security, more liquidity, and so on. Currently, on Maxi Global, you also get access to the newest meme coins and the top gainers. You can see that even though the, the overall crypto market is going sideways, we still have some meme coins pumping like crazy as soon as they're getting launched here on Maxi Global and, of course, also on other exchanges. But here you get a nice overview over the next upcoming meme coins. And also if you want to buy some of them that are not out on exchanges, here you find the list of the ones that I bought. I bought, for example, Pepe Unchained, Crypto All Stars, Shiba Shootout, Fetty, and so on. You will find them all here in the video description because currently they are very hyped. Uh, as you can see, in many websites, they are always um, like the most hyped um, meme coins. You need to have, for example, Metamask in order to buy them because you always have to connect um, a DeFi wallet to those websites and then uh, you can uh, buy directly here on the dashboard. So on Pepe Unchained, you can also just buy and stake for 162%. Then when you stake it, you're gonna get more and more tokens that, that, that you can of course accumulate. So once they're coming out, you can of course uh, take more profits and automatically generate more tokens, especially on uh, Crypto All Stars and Shiba Shootout. This is the one with their own in-game uh, token. Um, if you play this on, on the App Store, you can also earn the token, but otherwise uh, you can just buy it directly here. Um, it's still very, very cheap, two cents per coin. That means that you can buy a few thousands of them and, um, and write this thing up. Because also here, if you connect the wallet, uh, you can buy and stake it. I'm using always MetaMask. And thanks to the high API, you get a lot of rewards. Um, so even if you buy for a few hundreds of dollars, uh, once this is coming out, you're gonna have automatically some nice gains because the API is extremely high, like uh, also here on Crypto All Stars, you see 1,258%. That means that, um, let me connect here my uh, wallet. If you are going to purchase them, you can put it here on staking. And then of course, uh, you're gonna have uh, more and more um, uh, tokens um, once this is coming out because some of them they're taking some days some of them they are taking uh, like um, weeks until they're coming out this one only raised a bit more than a million so this is extremely low market cap of course but you can buy and stake it here for an extreme high api you can see that i have 50 uh, percent more rewards than the initial purchase so i purchased 80,000 and i already got 123,000. 
So they're gonna collect more and more the longer this one takes. And once this is coming out, then of course, um, um, I can take profits on my staking rewards and the rest I let it drop during the whole, the whole <clears throat> bull run. Because I told you guys that if Bitcoin is still here in this early stage after the halving and we should expect a big run up in the next coming months, maybe one or two years, then this is the time to buy. This is the time to buy as much Bitcoin as possible, as much Ethereum as possible, Solana, all the coins that you want. I also bought some BRC20 tokens like Ordinals, uh, Orange. I still expect that the BRC20 hype will continue. And then of course also um, some of those high risk meme coins like Shiba Shudao, the, the Olympics game. Um, we have Fetty <coughs> and some others, especially Pepe Unchained and Crypto All Stars. Of course, those are the most hyped ones right now uh, that are coming out. There are some more, but I would definitely uh, at least buy the ones that are very hyped right now because once they're coming out, they could also explode like crazy at the beginning and also keep the, the purchase balance in staking because like that you accumulate more and more. Because imagine all the people that also bought those, um, those other meme coins in the past like Pepe or Dogecoin. You see that Pepe also, for example, here, this is the weekly time frame. This one also had launch, <clears throat> pumped like crazy. Everyone that had it before they got launched took profits here. Then we had this massive crash and bear market. Then we stayed here underwater basically for a very long time. And once this recovered, then you see what happened. Uh, you, you did even more gains. And that's why uh, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to keep my purchase balance in staking. <clears throat> and once the tokens are going to explode or once we're going to see an extreme hype, then of course I can take uh, more and more profits. And that's it guys for now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to watch out for the next move for Bitcoin because I think it's going to be a huge and um, and um, yeah, you, you can do some swing trades here, of course. Uh, otherwise, um, just be ready <clears throat> that at some point we could come down, but a strong move to the upside could be eventually incoming because of the daily time frame. But let's see if this can reverse then also the weekly and monthly time frame. Be subscribed here and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.